from Fox and we want to now take it out to uh, Fox 11's reporter there in the field in Los Angeles, uh, Bill Malugin, and he's been following this story uh, from the beginning and has some new updates, some exclusive photos that were uh, given to him about this dinner. Bill, um, what can you tell us about the latest in this story going forward? Yeah, Andrew, good evening to you. Look, this, this whole situation has just been an absolute disaster for Governor Newsom when it comes to his credibility with Californians. And we got a couple of exclusive photos sent to us last night showing the governor at this dinner on November 6th that he's in a bunch of hot water for. And it's now really calling into question just how honest he was the other day when he said that dinner was outside. Take a look. A Fox 11 exclusive. We've obtained this photo of Governor Gavin Newsom dining at the luxurious French laundry restaurant in Napa the evening of November 6th. It was a birthday dinner party for Newsom's close friend, Jason Kinney, a well-known lobbyist. And I just happened to look over and realize, hey, is that Gavin Newsom? Who is that? And I did ask one of the waitresses, and she confirmed it was. We spoke with a woman who happened to be at the restaurant the same night, and she snapped these photos. She asked us not to identify her. When the governor issued his apology on Monday, he described the dinner as outdoors. It was in Napa, which was in the orange status, relatively loose compared to some other counties. Uh, it was to be an outdoor uh, uh, restaurant. But the photo appears to show the dinner being mostly indoors, with sliding glass doors opened up for air. The woman we spoke with says at one point those doors were closed because of noise complaints about the group. It got louder and louder, and so they had some sliding glass doors uh, that they were able to close, so then they were, it was just a closed off room, but you could still hear them. That's how loud they were. She says the scene was hypocritical. It was a very large group of people and shoulder to shoulder, um, something that he's always telling us not to do. So, yeah, it was a, a bit annoying for sure. A spokesperson for Jason Kinney told us, quote, the guests and the restaurant followed all applicable state and county public health guidance. The guests specifically required outdoor seating. And that's outdoor seating, as confirmed and provided by the restaurant, end quote. The spokesperson also sent us a photo from Town & Country magazine describing that same area as outdoor seating. Regardless, the governor says he just shouldn't have been there in the first place. And as soon as I sat down at uh, the larger table, I realized it was a little larger group uh, than I had anticipated. Uh, and I made a bad mistake. Instead of sitting down, uh, I should have stood up and walked back, got in my car and drove back uh, to my house. The spirit of what I'm preaching all the time uh, was contradicted and I got to own that. And so I want to apologize to you uh, because I need to preach and practice, not just preach and not practice. And I've done my best to do that. Uh, we're all human. We all fall short sometimes. And earlier this morning, because of those photos we obtained, we were able to identify two people at that dinner. And uh, one of them is the CEO of the California Medical Association. The other is one of the top lobbyists for the California Medical Association. The CMA represents 50,000 frontline doctors and their interests in the state capitol. And for their CEO to be at that dinner violating those rules right next to the governor, that's causing a whole new wave of fallout. And that's the update today, Andrew. Bill, can you kind of just give us a sense of, you know, being out and about there in the field? What are Californians saying about this story? It doesn't seem like it's going away, you know, compared to the, the Nancy Pelosi hair salon incident. This, is, this has some legs. What are the people you're talking to still saying about this? They're absolutely furious, and it's bipartisan outrage because this is the whole idea of do as I say, not as I do, rules for thee, not for me. And Californians are frustrated and it, it's all coming at a time when 90 over 90 percent of the state just got moved back into our purple tier the other day, which is our most restrictive tier, closing down indoor dining, closing down nail salons, closing down gyms. So our restrictions are getting tougher while at the same time 
the governor has this dinner a couple weeks ago where he's violating all the rules that he's pushing on us every day. Wear a mask, wasn't wearing a mask. Social distance, wasn't social distancing. Don't mix with households, was mixed with a bunch of different households. And that's something he's really been stressing as we head into the Thanksgiving holiday. So he's losing a lot of credibility with Californians out here who are feeling, why should I follow these rules? Why should I have to follow these rules if, if our state leader isn't going to? And the governor admitted he's worried about that. He feels he's going to potentially lose some of his moral authority uh, because of his actions. And look, um, COVID is dangerous. COVID is spreading. We have skyrocketing numbers out here, and it needs to be taken seriously. And because of the governor's actions, you know, there's a segment of the population out there that's going to say, well, he's clearly not too worried about it. He went out to have dinner with a bunch of people in a closed room and wasn't worried. Why should I be worried? And that that could potentially be very problematic. Uh, Bill, just lastly, about those um, the two uh, medical association individuals who work uh, for the state of California, um, are they uh, having any like punitive uh, kind of uh, recriminations about you know the fact that they were there? Are they getting backlash too amongst their peers and in the community as well? Is there more focused on Governor Newsom? Other than some bad PR for them, I haven't seen any sort of discipline come down. The CMA put out a statement which essentially said that all of the all the rules, all the guidelines were followed and that it was an outdoor dinner, that sort of a thing. However, yes, they are taking a lot of heat and a lot of a lot of political flack because of it. I interviewed the president of Consumer Watchdog today and he said that uh, CMA should consider firing both of these people because it set such a bad example for all the healthcare professionals in California. So um, that, that aspect of the story is just breaking today. We're going to have to kind of see what the fallout is the next couple of days or so. But, um, you know, I'd be surprised if there wasn't some sort of discipline being handed down for, for, you know, those two guys violating the rules. Because, again, they represent 50,000 healthcare professionals in California, the same people who are fighting COVID on the front lines. And the CMA is actually pushing people wear masks, listen to these restrictions. And that message just gets tarnished when their own people aren't listening to the rules. And they, you know, they only got caught because these, these photos leaked out to us. So, uh, you know, interpret that as you will as well. All right, Fox 11 uh, in Los Angeles for us. Uh, Bill Malugin, thanks so much for joining News Now from Fox, I believe the first time. So thanks so much. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate it. And we'll be on this story as well here on the stream. If there's any more developments, uh, anything else from our sister station there in Los Angeles,